Hello everybody, welcome to your weekly art challenge and this art challenge was actually inspired by a very wonderful little girl um, who is 12 years old and the drawing technique is actually called the Elif hand drawing technique. Now I'll, I, we asked permission from Elif if we could actually share this. This is only just a very quick technique but we're actually going to share how she actually draws hands in proportion. She's going to be a pioneer and uh, create a lot of service in the world. So the technique for this week is purely on working on looking at your hand at a position. And you can either bend one finger or you can bend a few or whatever that is. And what I want you to do is I want you to just break down looking at combining squares and rectangles. Now, if you look at your hand and then you take that measurement and see that the square is exactly the same length as the top of that figure so that's going to help you and the whole process is again not to lift your pencil off the paper so if you draw that first square and if you want that that measurement to be the same up there now you're going to use rectangles but what you're going to do here is break them down and notice how I'm not even lifting my pencil off the page that by the time I'm actually drawing the finger it's now changing and then I'm looking at where everything is aligned, where is it connected. So I'm looking at lines to help me move those lines around. So what is this technique actually going to help you with? This technique is quite a powerful technique. What is the function of your hand firstly? The function of your hand is to create. And yet we find it one of the most difficult uh, projects to draw. So... The question would be, what in life do you create that you find very difficult to create or to manifest or bring forward? Where do you overcomplicate that? And how can you actually bring that forward? So when you are thinking about part, especially where you put yourself down, you're too hard on yourself, you're thinking of quick expectation on how to achieve things, where you're going and if it's not going the way you want it to, uh, you think you don't have time, there is always time to create. There is always time. So with that in mind, look at your hand and start giving yourself the challenge to create. Give yourself that part that you actually deserve and allow yourself to be part of this world to create what you do best. That is just a very quick demonstration of just a straight hand with very two simple quick techniques and um, we will be showing hopefully sooner later than um, late or obviously sooner than later how Elif has actually created this technique to even learn how to do this further. So well done to Elif. This is dedication to you this week.